Hello, welcome to a new episode in the FLTK Rust series. In this episode, we'll be seeing how we can compose widgets to create uh, a larger single widget. So I have just a small application here, which uh, just uh, instantiates an app, a window, and runs the application. So uh, we'll be filling our widget here, for example. So let's uh, go ahead and create uh, a uh, widget called my button. So you can go about this uh, by creating, for example, a uh, group widget and filling the group widget with other widgets. So uh, just uh, fix this. And so let's create our group widget here. And let's, for example, add a uh, button, which uh, basically can close the uh, or hide the widget. So button. and we'll implement our button. So uh, the basic constructor So this basically takes uh, the the sizes from here. So x, y, with height, enable. And just a moment. Sorry about that. So uh, basically, um, the group widgets, whenever they receive a label, they will place them at the top and the left. So uh, we can change this by changing the alignment. and we can basically create our button so this will take for example x plus 40 and y plus for example uh, 10 we'll see how this looks like and the width so let's say 10 10 and label x we can use an image for example if we wanted to and uh, let's try uh, checking how this looks like so and with uh, uh, sorry. Okay, so this is our small button here, maybe make it a bit larger, and this is our uh, group. So we can also give it, for example, a uh, frame, so um, and we can give it a color. I actually found this uh, nice color here, so... Oops. And let's give our window, for example, a white color. Okay, so we can change this uh, as well. Um, so let's say 15. And here, for example. <coughs>
Okay. And we can change also the frame of our uh, uh, button and the Another our flat box and the uh, color. Let us say get a. Uh, red color Set for them uh, the uh, callback here. This to be uh, the uh, group X, and this to be the group Y. So if we create more than one one of these, okay. And here the button. We can remove the visible focus, or let's disable the uh, visible focus for our app. So. For example, uh, make it so that when we click our big button here, that something happens. So we can basically just uh, override the handle method here and uh, implement the DRF and DRF mute. So uh, basically targeting this So now we can do something like Of course uh, this doesn't recognize the clicks so we can we'll have to handle this here 
So uh, here, for example, in our group, so uh, this takes an event. If you match the events, if it's an event push. just say um, uh, group do callback and return true here false to be able to access it we can use the other overload so G and here G Uh, sorry about that. So uh, this is uh, so this now works on pushing. And, uh, when we click here, this deletes the group. So for example, now if we wanted to add a pack, uh, we can, for example, go ahead and create our own uh, vertical pack. Let's give it a uh, spacing. And we want to end the pack. So now, for example, we can create multiple of those. And with packs, you don't need the uh, X and Y coordinates. So we get our buttons here, or group widgets which act as buttons, and which can be also deleted. Uh, so that was basically it for this video, thanks for watching, bye.